everyone, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look here and I only use products that are from the drugstore or are sold at an affordable price. So some of the products that I used are from our version of the drugstore like Priceline and then the other products I used I bought online but they are around the same price. I also used affordable brushes, so brands like Real Techniques, Morphe and TBX. All the products that I used will be listed in the description box below. If you have any other questions, just leave me a comment. Otherwise, let's get straight into the tutorial. So today we're going to be starting with some primer. This one is the Face Base Primer by Face of Australia. It's just really moisturizing, so I'm going to rub this into my skin. And then for my nose, I'm going to be using the Australis See You Later Pores because this is going to fill in all them icky pores. Then I was going to go in with foundation, but I remembered I have about a million red pimples. So I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer Green Corrector and just put this on my big red spots. And this is going to correct the redness is what I'm trying to say. So after that, it is foundation time and I'm using my favorite Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Nude in the shade 10 Light Porcelain. And the brush I'm using is by Real Techniques and it's their Expert Face Brush. So this is just a really nice, densely packed synthetic brush, perfect for foundation. Then to apply the foundation around my nose area, I'm going to be using the Real Techniques sponge because I find applying it like this doesn't make it as cakey as when using a brush does. And then I just like to go over the rest of my foundation with the sponge because it just leaves a really nice flawless finish. Now for concealer, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Porcelain. And this is going to go under my eyes. It isn't as light as the normal Urban Decay concealer that I use under my eyes, but it's the best I have from the drugstore. So that's what we're going with. So back in with the Real Techniques sponge to blend that out. And then I'm also going to use the sponge to apply my face powder. So I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder in the shade 001 Transparent. And so putting this under my eyes and then packing it all over my face. I like this loose powder far better than the Face of Australia loose powder as I find it is a lighter color. Onto the brows now, and I'm using this e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in the shade Light. So just brushing through my little brows with a spoolie. And then I'm using this brush by TBX called the Eyeliner Brush. And using this to fill in my brows. And then to set them into place, I'm going to be using this Rimmel Eyebrow Gel in the shade Light I'm going to go with. Let's go with Light. Moving on to the face now, for contouring and bronzing, I'm going to be using this Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Kit that was in collaboration with Chloe Morello. If you are pale, this contour colour is just perfect, so pick it up. And then the bronzer shade just complements it beautifully, so I'm going in with that. And then for blush and highlight, I'm going to be using the Rimmel and Kate Moss Trio. The blush is a really nice coral shade and the brush that I'm using for it is the Real Techniques Blush Brush. And then the highlight is a really beautiful champagne and I'm using the TBX Fan Highlighter Brush. And I'm just going to go to town with this highlighter, just pack it on, then pack it on a little bit more. Onto the eyes now, I'm using the Morphe 35O palette and going in with this light orange shade on a Morphe E27 fluffy blending brush, I'm going to blend this up as my transition shade. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because I can see myself looking and what I was doing was watching YouTube. So instead of looking at the camera, I'm watching YouTube. How rude of me. But anyway, the next shade I'm going in with is this bright orange and on a Morphe E22 brush, I'm going to place this into the crease and blend it up into that transition shade. So this brush is also very fluffy, but it's a bit more tapered so I can get right in that crease and place the color where I want it. Mm -hmm. 
there I go, staring at the computer screen again, or watching YouTube. But anyway, after I've placed this color down, I go back in with the first blending brush that we used and just go over them to make sure that they're blended together. And then I'm going in with a darker, warmer, browny kind of shade. And with my Real Techniques Base Something brush, I'm not sure of the name, so I will link it in the description box below. I'm going to place this color directly in the crease and just darken it up. So this brush is still fluffy, but it's it's more pointed and tapered so I can get right in that crease and just build up the color how I would like it. And then of course you've just got to go back in and give it a quick blendy blend. And then I'm going in with my Morphe E14 brush. This is a flat shader brush and I'm going to use this beautiful shimmery browny orange looking shade and place this on the lid. Then for the lower lash line, I'm going in with a mix of the first light orange color we used and the dark brownie color we used. And I'm going to blend this under the lower lash line. The brush I am using is from Eco Tools. It doesn't have a name on it, but you can just pick it up from Priceline or online at iherb.com. And then with a dark brown shade, I'm going to use this little detail brush from Real Techniques and just place this right in the lash line. And then I'm going in with a eyeliner to tight line my eyes and also going to put this on the waterline. Now it's time to curl those lashes, apply some mascara. This one is the Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express. And then I'm going to put on some false lashes. I'm just going in with these ones by Ardell. They are the Demi Wispies. And then last of all for lips, I'm using this ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Chi. And so I do a really bad job at applying this for you to see. So sorry about that, but you all get the gist of how to put liquid lipstick on. Oh my goodness, I forgot to highlight. All right, quickly highlight brow bone and inner corner, and now the look is finished. Well, thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial of me using all affordable products. I'm going to leave a link below to iherb.com, which is where I get my Real Techniques brushes. They are so much cheaper there than what they are at Priceline, so look into that. Anyway, follow me on Snapchat and Instagram and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!